Hey everybody, it's Don again from North of Detroit Outdoors. Thanks for joining me. I'm out with my nephew, Timmy. Now, Timmy is my hunting buddy and my fishing buddy. And during hunting season, we hunt a piece of private property. Uh, and on this property, there's a lake. It's a small lake, it's really secluded, it's seldom fished. And every year we say, we have to get out there to fish that lake because we just know there have to be some nice bass out there. Now that I have the Pelican Bass Raider 10E, it was our perfect opportunity for us to take something that was small and mobile enough out to this lake. It wasn't easy because the path to this lake is probably 150 yards. It is overgrown and it is wild. It's like nobody's walked this path for years. And when we finally got to the end of the path, there were two overturned rowboats that we had to climb over to actually get to the water. So once we finally got out onto the lake, and it took a lot of work to get out there, uh, the action started right away. In our first 15 to 20 minutes or so, we caught six bass, I mean right off the rip. And I actually caught the biggest bass to date on the Pelican Bass Raider. So I'm gonna take you with me. Let's go. Yeah, it's a nice size bass, bro. Bring it up this way, I'll grab it. Stop it. Stop it. He's nice. Yeah, that's a keeper. Nice. I haven't. I may try another. If I get one one day, I may try it. Becky doesn't really like it. She doesn't like bass or she doesn't like fish? She doesn't like bass. Right. Oh! Goodness oh. gracious. Oh my gosh, I gotta get this in the boat. Nobody, nobody, come here. Gracious, I wonder how much this thing weighs. <laughs> like, I can't even get y'all both in the pool. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that size of that thing. Alright, baby, you want it? No, I'm not gonna keep it. I'm not gonna keep it. No, I, yeah, don't keep it. Got your pictures? <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. All right, buddy, you're gone. <laughs> Tell me the red light is on. Oh, it's on. Yeah. You got it. Oh my goodness. Nikes. <laughs> oh, wow. That was pretty awesome. I knew it was big when I pulled on yeah, it. Yeah, I can put you in the oh. <laughs> Got him. I'm about to put my back into this. <laughs> wow. 
Ah, now that was fun. Let's see if I can do that again. Bass out here, nice, they're good to me. See, you, buddy. So you just tell if you want a bass, I won't even think. I'll throw it back. So you got to say, hey, no, no, Uncle no, no. D. I think about actually throwing mine back, depending on what I. Well, if you do want it, just remind me because I don't mind giving it to you because I'm doubting if I'm gonna take it home. Throw his back out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh man. Because I was because pike seem to be smoother bites. Like it's strong, but it's like <laughs> usually ain't doing that when I was like about to pull me in the camera. And did. <laughs> Stinking believable. So you going bass fishing yeah, now? Yeah, I'm gonna have to play. Yeah, we'll, we'll set it. We'll buy some. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, he's fighting. Let me get ready to help him. Get up here. Jeez, oh, a beast. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Oh my gosh. First cast. Kidding. <laughs> so, you want to keep this? No. Look at it. You might take this home. Look at it. I'm gonna take the one I got and see what it's like, and then. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy. Thank you. Here, take that bait. It's right in here. In one of these boxes where the long baits are. I just thought a line moving. That one fought as hard as that big one.
Never had a day like this. <laughs> Never. Never. This is how hot he feels. Just constantly pulling him in. Uh, there you go. So as you can see, Tim and I had a great day fishing. I'm hoping for more days like that. And when they happen, I'm going to bring it to you right here on North of Detroit Outdoors. It was good seeing you again. What if I lost my GoPro in the water bending over?